Ron DeSantis went on Christian Broadcasting Network. Um, oh, this isn't the College Basketball Network? No. Oh. No. Um, <sighs> he wouldn't go on that. It's not, he would go on the College Baseball Network, as we're about to say. Right, right. But as Trump's doing these primetime interviews on Fox News... <laughs> With Brett Baer, and it's supposedly a really hard interview, and Trump yeah. like comes out looking better for Republican voters. This is what Ron DeSantis, uh, Ron De Ozempic, is doing over on Christian Broadcasting Network. Speaking about sports, um, there's a lot here, and by a lot, I mean a lot of really weird assumptions about race. Here we go. What is it about baseball that you love? I mean, it is a thinking man's game. It does. I don't know why that's kind of track with where background. you are yeah. at in your tree. Yeah, sorry, folks. There's some sort of a background in this audio. So I, I don't know it. what that's from, but anyway. Career, career. career. Tell me a little bit about baseball. Well, you know, I think, you know, Ted Williams, when he got inducted all the time, said baseball gives every American uh, boy a chance to succeed. And I think there's something to that. There's so many different places that you need to have on a baseball team, and there's different skills that are required. So some people can be a pitcher, some people can be a middle infield. Some people can be a catcher. And so I think that there's kind of a place for everybody on a baseball team if you're willing to work hard, if you're willing to practice, and if you're willing to, to hone your skills. So I, I, I kind of thought it was always a very democratic game, a very merit, meritocratic game, whereas I kind of viewed like like basketball as like these guys are just freaks of nature. They're just like they're incredible athletes. In baseball, you know, you have some guys that might not necessarily be the best athlete, but maybe they've got, you know, that slider that nobody can hit or they have the skills that allow okay that's enough of that i mean i don't know yeah who, uh, patriot takes or whatever who clipped this there's some uh, extra audio some in, in the, the background, background yeah. um but i mean can we actually finish it because i just want to make a case about this keep going them to compete at the highest level oh well that was it um i hear this a lot about hockey too it's really interesting they're more relatable that it's more of a skill-based uh, product as opposed to one for athletic freaks and or skill-based sport. And you'll hear that about, you'll hear what, what he said about football and basketball, um, about that for being ath for athletic freaks versus baseball and hockey, which is more about honing a skill and being able to like have understand the intricacies of the game which is hilarious it's an insult to every single sport mentioned like it, 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 I, it, but i mean first of all there's literally probably uh, i i can't think of a sport that's more tactically complex than football it's just i mean it, it, that's the reality secondly basketball the amount of iq that's necessary to see the floor in the way that the greats have seen i mean magic johnson is a great example well, it's silly like especially like recent basketball is actually like the advantage of super like centers have had to be forced to become more and more skilled previously in the 80s and 90s a tall guy can go like jump but like now like, like steph curry lebron james like these are extremely uh t and the idea that like uh, again like it, otherwise you could just draft athletes and that's been a proven uh, failed strategy for the nba for like years you need guys that are extremely like quick on moving the ball and reading defense and stuff like yeah. that like like this is a guy who doesn't know basketball and is frankly probably has well, why doesn't he know basketball well, why does he love baseball and say it's more for yes. sk it's it's more about Slower. skill than it is for and more meritocratic also, than like, basketball because what we're, we're, we're dancing around here is that they say this about white sports. Right. I mean, baseball, like, I don't know. I play baseball more, more than I play basketball. And, like, honestly, the difference be between, like, playing third and shortstop and the different outfield positions, like, you got to know a lot more in basketball. You need to know how to defend. You need to know how to shoot. You need, like, also, baseball is much easier. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's also more boring. It's definitely yeah. one of the more boring sports. I think people don't like to admit that because it's also the sport that like at the game, there's the most like snacks and it's easiest <laughs> to get drunk at. But like baseball's boring as hell. It's very stop and start. But you also Maybe do need them. to be an athletic freak to be any a professional in any of these sports. I mean, like, you can be uh, pretty yes. sloppy and be in baseball. Like he's right. Like, you know, but for like a few positions in other sports, like, you know, you can't be as sloppy as some of the older baseball players. But that's just like... Even you can be sloppy coming. in football as a as an offensive lineman. But you have to be super okay. strong. But, you, but you your strength is right. And, and and the average guy, like if the average like 
first of all, even a lot of pitchers that, especially they throw a lot of sliders and stuff like that, their arms are just going to be wrecked unless they have some sort of um, natural f- um, fortitude and like um, uh, a building their arm to withstand that kind of pressure over that long a time. Because you, you, there's specific surgeries that pitchers have to do all the time. But Tom like, John, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and guess what? Who's like... The best pitchers of all time, like as far as like um, just overpowering people, like Randy Johnson. How fucking tall was he? Seven foot tall guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's Dontrell Willis. I feel like his arms were like super long. Like it's always no. They mythologize this crap right. too. It's the same thing with quarterbacks. They pretend like it's like just a thinking man's game. First of all, now the game is thankfully changing, and we have more black uh, like quarterbacks, and they like have shied away from it. And then they'll say things like, "Oh, Lamar Jackson can never win a Super Bowl." Why do you say that? But like. L- Quarterbacks all have huge hands for the most part. They also have incredibly strong arms. That is an athletic trait, but they separate the athletic trait from often their conceptions about who is thinking and who isn't um, and pretend like it's something elevated above sports because they can relate to it a little bit more as opposed to other manifestations of athleticism that are typically non-white where they don't have that connection and so they don't they don't speak about it in this highfalutin manner and it's just racism that's what it is i'm weird. assuming like santis must be a huge fan of soccer right the most popular game in the world because it's the most accessible game in the world uh it takes real skill to separate yourself from just anyone who could just you know play soccer because it's so accessible to play uh, I, I something tells me he does not like soccer. <laughs> no, no. I mean, he should get into it now that Messi's going to Miami. That might actually get him a vote or two, as opposed to when you know he inevitably, hopefully, flames out of the Republican primary. Yeah. Also, just interesting to see Ron DeSantis call other people freaks. 